Yep, I was there. Oh, wonderful. Nice. I'm sure we had a chance to talk that or get a chance to meet you. So, uh, But that would be the box there. The logo on the PB Burst could be a bit smaller to make space for a um, bigger sports image on the flap. Wonderful thought. Okay. 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 Perfect. Very interesting. So this is all the stuff that kind of goes into it, which is kind of fun, but also extremely stressful, as you might be able to imagine, because then it's a matter of, okay, how do we prioritize what's most important? Yeah. We have to make sure our logo's on there. Um, we have to make sure we tell what the product is in as few and as clean as possible, because we can't put a whole paragraph on there. It's going to bore everyone to death. And again, by, by taking up the least amount of space on the shelf so that we can prove value to the retailers that are going to be carrying us also. Oh. All of that formula plus the looks and what certain looks, for example, bolts. We don't want bolts to be your thought when you're going to buy peanut butter. Um, so it is a lot to think about, and that's why we're like, all right, let's get... Um, you all to help us out because yep. we don't claim to know all this stuff. We're not experts. We could do focus groups and yeah. it pays a lot of money to do that. And then even half the time they come back and it's not what yeah. still people want. The so. direct consumer feedback is the one that we cherish the most. Right. And so actually, why don't we go into the next portion of it of what uh, the next idea we have on the actual per burst back. Sure. Packet. If there's no other flavors, why is there different color boxes? Uh, just so if you if you're new to the the scope today, we're these are different. These are all mock-up packages. We're looking at what uh, package color design we want to get into right now. Yeah, and ultimately the the um, the buyers, um, you know, that at the grocery stores, they're the ones that are kind of dictating, saying, guys, we need something a little bit more food friendly. And their suggestion has primarily been a lighter color, such as a white. Yeah. That's kind of where they say it's clean. It looks like food. Uh, it's not always our first pick. I, I, there's a black color that was really awesome, but mm. again, they said that doesn't look like food. Yeah. But anyway, so lots of things that go into it. But again, now let's really briefly, if that's okay, and guys, you have so many great ideas and thoughts, and we're so grateful uh, for your help. I was more I focused know. on eating it. <laughs> Seriously. I believe me, that's way more that's fun very, to be eating. Yes, absolutely. All right, so one last thought here really quick. Again, similar deal here. We have this metallic type looking, you know, shiny package. Let me make sure that one. Yeah, here, come on down here, Billy, so you can actually see it. If we went to more of the white package, and again, here's another mock-up, right, of the of the white here, instead of the, you know, the silver, again, do you feel better about that? Um, is it more clean? Uh, metallic for sure, not white. Go down. Which has been actually, the funny thing about it, even though the box, everyone is saying, yeah, go for the lighter, the whiter color, buyers and also kind of some of the feedback that we've been getting a lot is... Um, the metallic. Yeah, so there's a couple of people right there as well that saying no. I nope. like the metallic. Yep. Okay. <clears throat> White, clean, and simple. Like See, it. this is the tough part. It's we're never, we're never going to be able to please everyone. Yeah, as that's well, the you problem. Know? Yeah. So but, do you, if we went white, clean, and simple on the packaging and the outer carton, do you think that the individual burst packet might get lost? I'm asking. In and Costco, for, yes, we are actually. Um, Bill here has had great, uh, some great relationships with Costco going right now and hopefully soon. So, uh, again, possibly more news to Somebody come. Somebody asked if we going yeah. to Costco. Uh -huh. Yep. Hopefully soon. So what, what are some of we got here? No matter what, well, thank you. Um, everyone does metallic. So maybe, maybe already done. It's kind of like over overdone maybe is what, what, we're, what we're saying here. So, okay, great feedback. But that's probably what we're, what we're leaning into here. We, we've mm -hmm. probably narrowed it down more to... Staying with the gray, <clears throat> what is it? Um, this here is, is is called PB Burst. That's a great question. I realize some of you are just joining us now. This is a peanut butter product that we've added energy to. Hey, real quick, uh, like we said, we need everybody's feedback. So if you, if you wouldn't mind, if everybody could just swipe to the left, press on the share button, and press share with Twitter or uh, Facebook, we'd really appreciate any additional comments on that. What's that purple comment there? I missed Opens it. the... Yeah, so um, and the energy and the performance that we've added into our peanut butter here is um, natural astaxanthin, which is an anti-inflammatory, antioxidant, helps with muscle recovery. Um, it resembles a snack bar that's right. Yep, okay. So may, that might be why a lot of people are saying, no, it's okay to stick with the actual packaging yep. in this color, but maybe for the outside, go with a different color. We've also had a green tea, decaffeinated green tea, to help with uh, increasing your metabolism, and then vitamin Bs for energy. Eh, <clears throat> so is he. I'm allergic to nuts <laughs> as well. I'm the CEO of the company. And sadly, I am. I have anaphylaxis, unfortunately, as well to nuts. Can't make it up. Married into the family, and uh, just doing my best now. And I know, horrible, right? What if a child sees it as candy bar? <clears throat> Great question. So my kids do see it as a candy bar. They eat this stuff like crazy. Um, it's not. 
I don't want you to think it's like a Red Bull. And Billy, keep in mind some of those questions yeah. there. Um, it's not. Don't think of it like a Red Bull, like crazy energy. It's a natural, sustained energy, almost like a re-engaged type of energy to get you through the work day or through your workout. It's it's not like you're going to be jittery. It's not a cup of coffee by any means. Again, I have twin boys that are four years old. They eat this stuff for snacks, and it's not going to. Um, uh, yeah, the kids, kids, yeah, yeah, I would much rather them, them eating a, a, a single serving of peanut butter fortified with some good vitamins than uh, most of the candy that's out there. It's yeah. definitely better than candy. Yeah, yeah. definitely and, low in sugar. Yep. And to answer a previous question uh, about the stores not liking it in metallic, the they like the <clears throat> single single yeah. serve. They just said, hey, if you're willing to update it now, you might want to do something more food friendly. So they were saying, get rid of the gun metal if you want, uh, and which is why we went to the white. How do I find myself selling nuts when I'm allergic to them? So first of all, uh, school lunch. Yeah, I need it before school, and I put it right in my kids' lunch with some some apples. Um, I married into the family. My my father-in-law was Crazy Richards, so he was so disappointed when he found out that his daughter was marrying a guy allergic to nuts. Totally stinks. Um, uh, that's right, natural peanut butter with great uh, improved nutrients and proteins, vitamins, things like that. And so he, I am what he got, and uh, he's kind of bummed about that still. But hey. Um, you know, it's 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 going all right. Now, thankfully, by the way, my allergy is just to tree nuts, not to peanuts. So while I can have our peanuts, we also have um, almond butter, cashew butter, and even some almond powder and cashew powder because we have our peanut powder coming soon also. That probably will kill me. Um, we'll definitely make sure to put that on Periscope when that happens. So you will see the end of me. So um, sad day. Uh, oh, she's allergic to all nuts. Oh, oh, I'm sorry she, to hear that. That's not fun yeah. at all. So that's a, not a fun allergy. So totally understand. Yeah. So what questions did I miss when I was rambling? Uh, no, we picked them up. We all right, great. Up. Yeah. Hey, so we really appreciate your your feedback. This is great for us. Um, yeah, I'm, yes, I'm trying to hang this. in there. At the end of those shows, when I'm sampling uh, 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 or sampling is even going around me of almond butter and cashew butter, my eyes. I look like the guy uh, Will Smith from Hitch. Yeah, that's about the end of my day there when we're when we're at these little demos and doing things like that. It's not a fun time, but we like to tease that if he came out with an almond powder, that would be like a little almond grenade for him. Yeah, and that's all they gotta do is huck it over at my desk, yeah. and when it explodes, <laughs> it'd be like that VX gas stuff in the rock. Anyway, um, yeah, no, I, I, we want to be including you all a lot more. This is a great medium that otherwise, without this, we don't get this interaction mm -hmm. with our fans and with just even people that don't even know about us. So this is great. We'll definitely, we want to keep in the loop in the future. We love your feedback. Um, anything else, feel free to always email us, crazyrichers.com. Uh, are peanuts a nut? No, they're not a nut. They are a legume. Um, peanuts are growing in the ground, like under uh, underground, and, and, and trees are, or, or tree nuts, obviously, are growing on trees. Yeah, what Why, is this? Uh, White powder. Side. Great question. Really quick on that. You take your uh, your peanut butter, again, 100% peanuts, and you press about 90% of the oil, 85 to 90% of the oil out of it. Um, we are probably going to be doing that due to all the allergies. De we're a small and nimble enough company to where we want to be able to have other nut butters, possibly sunflower and other things as well. Um, and thank you so much, uh, Yuri. We, we sure appreciate yeah, always being thank here. You. So for the powder, you press about 90% of the oils out of it. And you're left with just yeah, and fats as well. Um, you're left with just the proteins and the fiber. So again, low fat, low calorie, and you take this, and by the way, don't add water to it to try to make a peanut butter taste horrible, in my opinion. Uh, but if you add it to your smoothies, add it to your shakes, add it to your oatmeal, um, take some chicken, rub it on there and put it on the grill or add it to your stir fry and you're just adding protein and fiber. So that's what the powder is really good for. Back to the box, won't yeah. care about smaller details that can be on the bottom. I think that's a great point as well. We need we did, need to definitely focus our message and... and um, only put the key of things on the top. Who was that? Do you know who said I didn't, that? I don't know. We'll, we'll Great comment, though. Yeah, we'll definitely yeah. go back and, and re yeah. rewatch it. If you, if you, if you, if anybody comes up with any more comments or questions or anything like that, uh, tweet us. We'll we'll make sure to respond to their T to you on there. Top two in the box. I had I stopped eating peanut butter when I love your stuff. Nice. Wow, really? Fantastic. fantastic. Definitely, Good definitely for you. share your story. Congratulations. Um, email us and contact us because I like to ask a little bit more about uh, about. All that, that, I mean, that's fantastic, 136 pounds, and uh, maybe send you a little something to say congratulations. Yeah. Uh, what is this about? We have a performance peanut butter um, that's just 100% peanuts fortified with some vitamins, that, oh, that right. like bees and stuff like that, that, that do uh, add some energy and some performance to it, some decaffeinated green tea. And so we were just going over some packaging. We're just wrapping up right now. Um, but that's what we were doing is going over some different packaging ideas. And so but, uh, we're about ready to, to sign off. But if you have any more ideas, please feel free to email us or um, uh, 
let's see. Well, we're so glad um, that you guys joined us today. So somebody made a comment about uh, having a coconut butter. Um, you know what's funny is that a little while ago I actually tried a uh, peanut butter with coconut in it, and it tasted like uh, sun suntan lotion. Ironically enough, so it was it was a little it was a little strange. Maybe it was the formulation. I'm not sure, but it was just interesting. So, is there any other questions? Um, if there's any other questions before we sign off, if not, we, again, thanks so much for your feedback. Uh, email to send you my weight loss journey. I would definitely say... Info at crazyrichards.com. Yeah. That's info. I-N-F-O at crazyrichards.com. Yeah. Hawaiian Tropic, yeah. <laughs> yeah, probably. It, it's, You've never I'm sprayed you, suntan tasted, lotion and it, got in your mouth? It tasted know. exactly like suntan lotion, just... A different consistency. I can actually eat coconuts. Coconuts aren't really a nut. So yeah, maybe, but maybe we should look into still... that. At crazyrichards.com, you can find the contact button there. Um, uh, so, uh, bodybuilding body ingredients. ingredients. So, but again, without all the salts and sugars. There so we go. There you Thank go. Info crazyrichards.com. Thank you so much. Uh, the bag in the background, that's that same energy blend, which is kind of hard to see here. Just really quick, the since powder. someone's asking about it. All it is, is it's our pressed peanut powder with that same energy blend of vitamin Bs, decaffeinated green tea extract, and natural astaxanthin for the antioxidants. So, hey, Danny, Justin says hi. And says, keep going, buddy. St stay in there. And Danny says the same for you as well, Justin. Hey, hey, hey. Yep, keep it going. <laughs> so thanks so much, everyone, for watching today. Um, really appreciate all your comments and feedback. You guys are great. And uh, looking forward to, to kind of continuing sharing these ideas with you. And we are not brothers, mm -hmm. just good friends from uh, a while ago. And, and um, giveaway, I think we'll have a giveaway probably in the next few days. So mm -hmm. definitely check us out on our Instagram page. Uh, the blog on our website will also show it. No rush, no rush keep, keep talking. talking. <laughs> uh, what would you, any, what, anything, anything else? Anything else? Yeah, we kind of were signing off. So Yeah, hey, Danny, beautiful wife. Matter of fact, Miranda girl, do you have any ideas on a uh, tell a joke? Tell a joke. Oh, wait. Want to see the Nutcrackers really quick? Yeah. Let's, you gotta see this. I mean, I mean, if if you think it's a horrible idea, then tell me. But um, take care, Lacey. She's bye. bye. <laughs> that's little, my wife, by the way. Okay, I was gonna say that would have been a little weird. Mm -hmm. Your wife would not have been happy about that. Yeah. Um, yeah. Palmer's get fit was a feature. Who had the best question? That'd be a good one as well. Hmm. Um, let's come really quick up here and show them the nutcrackers because I think it's kind of fast. You're going to get a little walk through our warehouse, but then we're going to sign off. Fortunately, we do have to find some more stores to carry our peanut butter. Hopefully, get it into your hands. So we have a nutcracker market here in Houston. I would have never guessed that. Houston, huh? We have a lot of uh, walking through the warehouse here. I should probably should give you a better idea. All right, you ready for this? There's a nutcracker collection. You're not going to believe it. All right, here, let me start this way. What is he doing? We're just showing, a uh, yeah, there's a little bit of a podcast here. Check out all these nutcrackers. And one We're right trying to go slow, other. yeah. This is our little storefront. Oh, the area, we're in Columbus, Ohio, Dublin. And this is all around the front of the store. There's a little, um, again, our storefront here. but Oh, it just keeps going. I can come down here, by the way, and there's, there's more nutcrackers. They're all over. Dublin, Ohio, you got it. And so, look at all these nutcrackers, nutcrackers, nutcrackers. Check this out. This one's really cool. Show them this one. This Another one's big awesome. one. This one's really cool. Very wooden look. Yeah. Not the traditional. I don't think that one's functional. No. That's really Let's cool see here. So, um, mm -hmm. ladies, this health store, Whole Foods in California. We are working in California right now. I know this should be a whole different episode, Periscope episode. Um, we're definitely working on trying to get it to other... Uh, other states, obviously, sure. and we're mostly out east. So, anyway, I think we can give people a guess how many yep. peanuts are in there. By the way, I'll send you a free jar of peanut butter. How many peanuts are in that big jar? Guess within you know? 25 peanuts. That's right. Yeah, we really do sell all over. Out west, it's mostly in Ralphs, but again, you can kind of see here, just this pretty much. I feel like a limited amount of of uh, nutcrackers. They just keep going. Open up drawers in here, and there's more nutcrackers, mixed nuts, and other things that we kind of do here in the store. But anyway. Glad you guys joined us today. Um, thanks so much for all your feedback. You guys have been fantastic and can't wait to see and talk with you all soon. Bye. Have a great day.